much a bit to review. This video is brought to you by Xer Cal Customs and Collectibles. For this and more great items, be sure to check them out. Link will be in the posted in the description. Hey guys, it's Shimbuto here. Today we're doing a review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo SH Fig Arts from Bandai and Tamache. Also on Nickelodeon. Ooh, awesome Nickelodeon. Wow. That's a really nice box window view of him, like as if he was in the sewers. So you see like, the sewer like background with the the bricks. It looks really nice. A preview image of Leonardo right here. Really nice definition uh, image of him. I really like what they've done. So you see all his accessories a little bit right here. A little sneak peek. So we turn it on the side. We got the cartoon version of him, the classic original uh, Ninja Turtle, and just more of the background. And a really nice blue right here. Message big arts. So if you turn the box to the back, really nice background, displays everything really well. Has the net posing, superior skull, original, uh, optional parts, and collectability, which showcases all the other turtles that you can get in the line of the new Teenage Mutant Turtles. And here it's showing the arrows of how the cantatas go into his, um, ra uh, his ribbon, I don't know what it's called, a wraparound of his turtle shell. And it showcases a full image of him in a really nice pose. My side just says Leonardo, a really nice font. Now let's open him up! He's out of the box, and let's talk about my first impressions of Leonardo. As, uh, he's a really nice figure, really nice sculpt, uh, beautiful figure. Leonardo is my favorite in all of the Ninja Turtles. I love the blue. The blue is just bright and it's beautiful. And I love his katanas, his swords, whatever you would like to call it. Really nice. So let's talk about his accessories. Alright, moving on to the accessories. It comes with a wide arrangement of accessories. Of course, it comes with his swords, really nice um, swords. I love the banding they did on the bottom of the handle. It looks really nice and looks very detailed. Very nice texture. I love the swords. Very shiny, very smooth. Really nice. And a little shine in the light. He comes actually with a silver piece. So. Same side like a coin. Really nice texture they have all over here. It says city sewer. It's really light too. Because of the third piece they stains onto his back of his shell to put his swords. It's really, really nice. It just connects into the back of his shell. This is the other additional head to switch up. Really nice hefty head. Um, he has the grit, like the clenchy his teeth. He's all mad. He's ready to fight. So I really like how they did the sculpt to it. it made it look like the plastic which made, made the character come alive. And I love the blue. The blue is really nice. So in here is where the ribbon would connect into. And it has a really nice pair of hands. So they're all just one ba you know, basic color green. But the way they did it, they made it shine in the light. So because it's turtle, he only has three fingers. But it looks good and what he can do with them. Um, it has a little bit of indentations here and there, and a bit of like dark, like look shading a little bit. So this is one just when his hand is extended out with his fingers. Here we have one that can hold the swords, so there's a hole to be able to place it into there. So it looks really nice. This one has just his fingers extended out a little bit. So we do little poses with them. And then, of course, any figure needs a closed fist hand. Really nice arrangement of hands. Now let's move on and take a closer look at Leonardo. On back to the figure itself. It's a really nice sculpt, sculpt everywhere. And it, it makes the, um, it really brought life to the character, which you've seen on, on screen and TV series and to the comics. Uh, so, a really nice way they've done it. I like the way they've done the shading of the muscles everywhere. It looks really good. I like the, how they did the fabric for the arm pieces, the fabric for the ribbon on the back of the head. Looks really nice. And the kind of fabric on the ribbon pieces right here. So, let's talk about how he can move a little bit. So his arm can move about that far back, that far out. Up like this. And go up like this. It strains arm out. So. Really nice way to show you can also see all the joints and insides right here. Alright, can you a little squeak and move it. This is actually the shoulder piece is a butter butterfly joint, so I can move a little bit. Huh. A little bit side to side. So 
Ah, things are falling off. Let's put that back on. There we go. Yeah, that'll stay off. Okay. So I just got them crunched like that. And then I can dark and move. Ah, can't move back. I guess that's how far I can move. Like this has that like that. And back and forth as well. You can see the little muscles that like the joint is back here. I thought I could move 360, but I guess it won't. But like this part, this section I think can move that can move 360. Not bad. So really nice. And those hands can move back and forth, side to side, a little bit up and down. Well, I said I can go that far down and that far back, looking up. And then it cannot move that that much down. The shell hinders him a bit. And can move a little bit back. And then you can kick up. Not like you can not not that much. The a shell actually hinders this movement. But what can you do? Yeah, it's still a really good piece. So then you can kick out that much. You cannot kick up any higher than this. You can kick up that far back. His feet are die cast, just like Donatello. So they're a bit hefty pieces, which is really nice. So it holds them really well. The toe piece can move all the way that far back and can move that far down. His toe piece, can, his foot can move really well. It can move all 360 all the way around. You can move down that much like that, the actual, the actual rest of the foot. And you can move side to side really well. Um, talking about the shell. It wasn't, it's not very movable, but again, it's a turtle shell, so turtle shells are not supposed to come off the turtle anyway. But it moves a little bit. And these actually, really, they're really nice how to hold it. And these can just slide through, up oh, in it, and out. So it's really nice, it makes a funny noise. Ooh! Kind of funny. Um, turn back to the front again. This actually is a really nice, very really pliable piece. Kind of can go uh, lift off of it. A little flap. This is kind of weird. Look at those pecs. Turtle pecs. You can see like this side like where the structure of him is at right here. So, where each piece meets. Yeah. Now let's move on to my last impressions. Alright, moving on to last impressions of Leonardo. He's a really nice figure, really good sculpt, really, um, really poseable. It's for sure, as you can tell, a really nice pose I put him into. Uh, I think you're going to love him, I love him too. So it's a great figure to have in your collection and to start out your new tutorial from SH Fig Arts. So you can get him now at Favorite Cal Customs and Collectibles. Link down in the description below. Please check it out! Please follow them on Facebook and Instagram as well. And check out, well, of course, check out their online store to get them. So, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I love you guys. You're amazing. So, have a wonderful day. Bye.